Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick tutorial today. We're going to be talking about uh, the Access Neuron and well, Access Studio and how to export an FBX out of Access Studio after you've captured your data using the Perception Neuron Studio and it also works for PN3. So this uh, workflow will work for yeah, as long as you're in Access. <laughs> Okay, and over to the left in the Unreal Engine 5, I have these two metahumans that I've just created using the new metahuman creator. And this character right here is from a 3D scan. Isn't that amazing? Okay, and this one is straight out of the, uh, the metahuman creator. So we're going to add some animation and life. So the, again, the question is, how do, can I export this FBX file or this animation from Access Studio into the, the Unreal Engine 5? In the past, I would stream this directly into the Unreal Engine using the Perception Neuron live link, you know, but sometimes you may not want to do that, especially depending on how, if your machine doesn't support that streaming power and the bandwidth is not strong. So what I would do, and another solution would be for me to stream this into iClone and then iClone into the Perception Neuron there. Normally the, the reason I go to iClone is for me to fix up some mockup before then sending it to the, uh, the Unreal Engine. So if you don't want to do that and you just want to send a, an FBX straight from here, what you do is uh, go ahead in the timeline over here, pick a segment. So for example, if I want to start like right here and drag this bar right here until you get to the point where you want and then come to the end over here and drag the end over so you framed what you want to play back and you can do a quick playback to see what it's going to look like and then you can also turn on or turn off turn off or turn on loop so you can see it playing back and forth all right so since we're not streaming we're just going to export the data what you need to do then is click on this button right here. Click go to export. Uh, give the, a name, just maybe like a PN uh, Studio. I'm gonna call it PN Mockup Six, and this is uh, the bracketing of the frames that we want. And it's, it's depending on how you recorded your data. I think this one I recorded at 96 frames per second, but it can go all the way to 240. So going to the Unreal Engine, I'm going to be uh, bringing at 30 frames per second. So make sure you indicate that. And then disable displacement, because this is important once you send this data into the Unreal Engine. And then down here by default, it might say Access Studio or Access Legacy, depending on which one you want. We want to be able to ex extend the Unreal Engine skeleton because this is already prepared that will make it much much easier for you to retarget this data onto the metahuman skeleton if you try to send any other of any of these other skeletons you get an error when you're trying to import into the unreal engine and you try to uh, retarget to the metahuman skeleton so make sure you select this one that has been provided now this i uh, just a, a quick note is a, a temporary fix so they are going to be coming out with a new release of the Access Studio that will fix this issue. So, but for now, if you're desperate and you need this uh, to, to get this to work, you can use this tutorial. And then in the future, use whatever has been fixed. All right. So we just, uh, normally I just tend to take uh, 2019 and which is the highest, but by default, it's going to say 2013, which is also fine. So let's just do 2019 for now. And if you intend to edit this FPX in iClone at some point, then try to go from 2011 and that and uh, later. So start from 2011. Okay. So go find a folder where you want to save this animation, this uh, data, FPX. Give it a name. And when you're ready, everything else stays the same. So this is crucial. Make sure you turn off displacement over there. Very, very important. And let's go ahead and uh, export. It's very quick, actually. And then go back to the Unreal Engine over here. We're going to go to one of these content browser. And then we're going to go to content, uh, go to animation. Let's create a new folder and just call it mockup or PN. Okay. And let me expand this a little bit more. And double, double click to open it. Right click and go to import. 
And then let's find that one that we just exported, which is this one right here. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of testing. <laughs> Usually test before I share these uh, uh, you know, tutorials to make sure it's working, right? It's important to do that. So mockup six uh, is the one that we just finished exporting with that displacement, open that. And then here, make sure you s enter the 30 if it's not by default, cause this is remembering the previous settings. So make sure you enter the 30 frames per second over here. And then we're gonna go to under skeleton, drop down and search for meta human, meta skeleton, and it's gonna show up here. If you browse or um, mouse over it, it's gonna show you the path where those that skeleton is kept and make sure you do that. Cause sometimes you may have the sample meta human in your project. Well, today we just have this one, which is a brand new meta human. So these meta humans don't play with any other meta humans. That's why I have them in a separate project. I don't want to mix them up because they're still being fixed. This is the new meta human creator in the Unreal Engine 5.0.2, I believe. All right, let's select that. And when you're ready, just go ahead and import. So you're gonna get this error here. You can just, uh, just ignore that for, for now. And so here's something that I wanted to point out, right? So when I double click on this animation, uh, it looks like it's working, but that's because I fixed this skeleton. I just wanted to show you the result before I show you how to actually fix it, okay? So this animation, when it comes in, it's not gonna look like this. It's actually gonna look like something like different. So I'm gonna select one of these meta humans over here, go to the body, right? And then browse to wherever that body is, which is this one right here. And then double click on it. And I'll show you what I did to fix this. Go to the skeleton over here. And under here, under these options right here on this gear, drop down and show retargeting options, okay? So as you can see from right from the spine one all the way down, I've already retargeted that. So by default, it's gonna be something like, let me see, shift, select, right? And I'm gonna right click here, recursively retarget to animation, and we're gonna save. So this was the problem because if I go back to our animation, double click on it. Uh, sorry, that was the meta human. Let's go back to our animation. This one right here. <laughs> Let's say number, or is number six? I believe it's, uh, so this is four, three, two, one. Okay, let's double click on this one right here. And as you can see, uh, the skeleton is kind of extended right so that's the result you're gonna get before the fix is that these animations are gonna look like that and even if and even if you drag this now it's it's an asset it's an animation asset and if you dragged it so let's do something you, you're gonna this is funny you guys see it though let's go to uh my sequencer over let's go to content browser let's go to content uh, sequencer and it's uh bring action no, you know what let me go ahead and add a new level sequence Go over here, add level sequence. I'm gonna call it uh, test two. Okay, and we're gonna take our models over here and we're gonna put them on our, in our sequencer and we're gonna get rid of uh, the meta human control rig for now. And then we're gonna bring her in as well. Put her here. We're not really worried about facial animation right now. And we'll do that another time delete that okay so we have the bodies and if i go to the body and add let me scroll down uh, scale this a little bit if i go to the body and add the animation let's go to animation uh type in mockup and uh mockup six this is the one we just brought in <laughs> and you can see he's like where are you it's all the way up there. And same thing, if we uh, select her and we do the same thing, add the animation track here, animation, and we add mockup. Uh, six over here. Shoo, and then she goes all the way up, right? So that, <laughs> I don't know, I need to play this back so we can see what it looks like actually. All right, let me bracket this up to like right there. Let me, let me 
is the live link. We are not using that today. Turn on loop, right? And it's playback. <laughs> so you got two long tossed people in the living room, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. So that is our problem that uh, we, we, were, we solved by going to our skeleton over here. So the, the issue that I was talking about is that the skeleton of the metahuman has not yet been recursively retargeted. So again, we, what you need to do is uh, go here and uh, show, hold on a second. I might actually make a good thumbnail. So let me first rewind and uh, let me also go to the LOD sync over here and to zero so that we get uh, the hair and also him hello this sink and zero one don't let that for you it's still they're still elongated just because they look all right uh, i need to go to my sequencer this one let's close this browser i'll go to the sequencer and let's see what happens. <laughs> oh boy. So that is a that is a funny. Let's go look at it this way. They're like grooving. It's like a, a mushroom party of some kind. They I don't know what's happening to them now, but <laughs> They ate something <laughs> for sure that elongated their, their tussles. This is the fun thing about the Unreal Engine is that everything is real time, which is really, really cool. All right. So if we go back to this server here and uh, drop this down and show retargeting options and we go from spine all the way down. Shift select. And right click and recursively set to skeleton retargeting and save. And that's going to get rid of the whatever they drank. That's the antidote. So now if you rewind and play back, yeah, they're rapping, hanging out, having fun in the apartment in real time. So this is a real time party. <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. So guys, that's how you import an FBX file from the Perception Neuron Studio from here and export that animation as an FBX file to take it to the Unreal Engine to be able to add it to your MetaHuman to create some really fun animation like in this apartment in real time. That is so, so cool. Again, thank you so much for joining me guys today. And I, I, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare and uh, a minute, spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And as always, always guys, dare to dream. Never, ever give up on your dream. Please stay safe. Much love to each and every one of you. And I'll see you next time in another video while we grew. <laughs>